What's up, YouTube? Pokeparama here, primed and ready to deliver you our team builder for week number 10 of the NPBF here on the channel. This week, uh, we are taking on the Philadelphia Braviaries, coached by Steve. He is the replacement who has come in to take over for uh, our buddy Chris, who uh, has decided to step away from Mons. Uh, so he's come in to uh, replace Chris, and he actually decided in probably one of the most shocking things that me or any of the other commissioners ever thought we would have heard, um, he decided entirely to keep the mono water team that he has rocking with. So um, his team is is as follows, uh, Azumarill, Toxapex, Gastrodon, Politoed, Alomomola, Omastar, Basculin, Frogadir, uh, and... Huntail, along with the Mega Slowbro, and his Z users are Frogadier and Azumarill. So, really, really terrifying. Really, really solid uh, Mono Water team. Really, really powerful looking. It's it's gonna be a hard thing to beat for sure. There's no doubting that in anyone's mind. This is gonna be a rough, rough match for certain. I'm guaranteeing that. Um, Z Azumarill is scary because of potentially Z Belly Drum. Z Frogadier is scary because of the potential for, um, because of the fact that it gets Protean, and so it has Protean, uh, has Stab on any Z move it wants to use, which is really terrifying. So that's going to be a huge, huge threat. Uh, he has a lot of potential setup threats, Omastar uh, and Hutail for, um, Shell Smash, potential Calm Mind, Mega Slow Bro. Um, and obviously the Belly Drum Azu, which is terrifying. He has Rain, which can buff his Water-type moves, uh, with the Politoed, uh, which is also a big pain. Um, he has a Loma Mola for Wish Passing, which is annoying as fuck. He can stall things out with the Gastrodon and the Toxpex, and you can use Basculin as a Wall Breaker. So, like, his team, it, like, despite the fact that it's all Water-types, his team is still scary. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. His team is terrifyingly good. So we're going to have to be extremely on our toes to be able to pick up the W here. So first one we're going to be bringing this week is Ron Weevely, our Weavile. Um, we're bringing a Swords Dance kind of wall-breaking set uh, because essentially we have to uh, because of things like the Toxpex and the Azumarill. Um, Swords Dance, knockoff. Poison Jab and Dig um, with the Ground EMZ. Uh, so basically, we have the Swords Dance up. Uh, well, we gotta get some chip damage first on the Toxpex. Like, the Toxpex has to be chipped down a little bit uh, before we can even Z Dig that thing. And we have to have a Swords Dance up when we Z Dig it, by the way, because that is essential to being able to knock that thing out 100%. Um, we have the Swords Dance, Knock Off, Poison Jab, and Dig. Um, knockoff is just really good against his team. He actually has nothing that can resist the knockoff. Well, he, he has a resistance in Azumarill, but, uh, that's why we have the poison jab there. Um, but he has nothing that, he has nothing that can particularly, um, he has nothing that, like, wants to take a knockoff, per se. Like, if he brings anything but Z Azumarill, he doesn't obviously want to lose that item. He doesn't want to lose... Uh, lefties, if he is the Sap Sipper uh, trapping set, he doesn't want to lose. Uh, he doesn't want to lose his um, band or assault vest if he's more offensive. Uh, like, there's a lot of instances where he just doesn't want to lose his item with Azu. So I, I, I think if he's not Z, which I really think he will be, uh, I don't. I, he definitely doesn't want to take uh, knockoff. So we have Swords Dance to make sure that we can actually Oko a couple of these important things, uh, so that we can pick up the massive damage on the Azumarill with the Poison Jab, We can, and then we can tear through the Toxpex with the Z-Dig. We're running 40 speed with the Jolly Nature. This 40 speed actually allows us to outspeed everything on his team, um, barring potential Scarfers, obviously. Um, so we outs uh, his fastest Mon is the Basculin, which sits at a nice base 98 speed. So this is enough to outspeed that e uh, by one point. Then we just put through the rest into Attack, and then... I max out our attack and then threw the rest to HP uh, so that we could uh, do as much damage as possible and potentially take some hits uh, from his team. Uh, but being able to knock off a lot of mons on his team is going to be very, very crucially important to this game. Extremely important. So 
That is our uh, Weavile Psycho on there. Next up, obviously, you know, against a team of Mono Water, we have to bring our uh, Dahlia here. Dahlia, the uh, Rose Raid here, is extremely crucial to this matchup because of the fact that it can essentially tear through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 out of the 10 Mons on his team easily. And uh, we have the Extra Sensory to take care of that 10th Mon as well. So Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, Extra Sensory, and Sleep Powder. Uh, we have enough speed to outpace, I believe it is Politoed at max speed. Um, we threw the rest into our HP stat after maxing out our special attack so that we can hit as hard as possible, but we can still take a lot of hits. Obviously, we resist all of their stabs, um, which is really, really awesome. Um, Giga Drain is basically the go-to against his whole team. Um, no, he has actually no switch into Giga Drain besides a Sav Zipper Azu, which I feel like he, I feel like he almost has to bring Sav Zipper Azu Azumarill against me. He has to bring Sav Zipper Azumarill, or Rose Raid literally just 6 0s him. And realistically, even if he brings Sav Zipper Azu, we have the Sludge Bomb, so we can literally just, we can still knock that thing out without any real issues, which is really, really important. And then, obviously, we have the Extra Sensory. Extra Sensory does a lot of damage to the Tox Specs. I will even actually... That's the one move I haven't calced yet in this matchup. But we're going to do it right now because I love you guys. So we're going we're gonna to get some information. We're going to get some information. Extra Sensory versus Tox Specs. The Pex set. Nice and Spadef set. It does 31 to 37 percent. Also has the chance to flinch, uh, which is definitely better than doing nothing. And Toxpex can't do anything to us. That's the thing. So that is the important part of that scenario that uh, needs to be discussed: is the fact that Toxpex can't touch uh, Rose Raid at all. And the reason I have the Pyopa Berry is so we can take on um, Slowbro. So, Mega Slowbro is obviously a threat. Um, there's there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Mega Slowbro is a massively threatening Pokemon. Period. And end of discussion. That is, this is not even, that's not even a discussion topic. It is a threatening Mon. It's a problem. So, uh, how do we deal with problems? We uh, bring a damage-reducing berry to uh, mitigate that problem. And that is what we're going to be doing. And, um, yeah. Uh, Mega Slowbro will not be able to KO us, and we will be able to beat the Mega Slowbro with this Mon, uh, with the Giga Drains, because its Spadef is significantly lower, and we'll be getting that H nice HP back as well, obviously, as well as outspeeding him, and, uh, so he either has to set up a Calm Mind, and then still eventually lose to this thing, or just lose to this thing out anyway outright. Uh, so that's, that's important, uh, to note. Next one we're bringing is Symmetrical, our Cryogonal, and we're bringing a Choice Specs Cryogonal because of one very clear thing, move, and that is Freeze Dry. So, we have a nice stab, base, 70 power move that is super effective on water types, and I can just spam it. He doesn't have anything that can really, he doesn't have anything that comes in on this move. Um, Gastrodon is 100% O-code because of the fact that it's also a ground type. So it's four times effective, and this just will tear his team to ribbons. Absolutely end his life. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This mon just absolutely tears him apart, uh, which is really awesome. Uh, besides that, we do have the HP Grass. Um, li literally, Freeze Dry is the only move we need on this move set, but we have HP Grass here regardless as well as the knockoff, just in case I feel the need to click knockoff as something might be coming in. Um, so I can click knockoff and get rid of something's item, which could be cool. And then I also have the toxic, um, just in case I feel frisky and I want to hit something with a toxic. Uh, so there's that going for us. Um, then we have your eight, the uh, Rotom Wash, uh, Volt Switch, HP Grass, Toxic, and Defog. Uh, Volt Switch, because literally outside of Gastrodon, there's nothing on my opponent's team.
Um, I can freely Volt switch around on this team without really any repercussions, uh, which is really nice. Um, I can also Toxic Gastrodon uh, if it comes in on me so that I can like scout and see if it is a Rindleberry like Mirror Coat set. Like uh, I know Chris used a lot throughout the season, which is very, very important because I do not want to get Mirror Coated. So uh, that could be very important. Um, uh, if we could potentially break that thing down with a Toxic. Uh, just a couple of his bulkier mods would be nice to break down with Toxics uh, throughout the game. Uh, we have the leftovers because we really didn't need any other item. Uh, nice and mixed defensive so that we can just pretty much take on everything on his team. Like there's nothing on his team that we can't like kind of 1v1 with this mod. Um, this mod is very important to the game as well to keep hazards off our side of the field so he can't like get up enough hazards that if he gets a shell smash up or something and he can sweep me, like, that's not cool. So we're not going to allow that at all. Uh, and then we have the rest all in Taurus Spadef, because, like, we naturally resist everything, so we can just really take him on. Next up, we have Vermilion, our Florges, uh, Leftovers, Flower Veil, Wish Protect, Toxic, and Psychic. Uh, fully physically defensive. Um, Wish Protect just to obviously keep itself healthy. Um, we have the Toxic to whittle down a bunch of mods on his team. And we have the Psychic just because, literally, um, just because the only mon, like, it hits everything on his team. Besides the slow grow for neutral damage. And it's super effective on Toxic Packs. Like, it was hard to decide what mons to bring because there's some mons that were just absolute nopes. Like, Zard X is an absolute no. Simeon, absolute no. Just because of slow between Slowbro, Azu, and Pex, Basimian was just an absolute nope. Um, Licky Licky, just, I just didn't feel like Licky Licky fit this week. I, I thought about bringing, like, it plus, like, Earthquake or it plus Power Whip or something like that, but it just didn't feel right to me. Uh, so, I didn't go for that. Uh, and then, Dust Noir just wasn't, I don't know, just wasn't tickling my fancy. Um, yeah, I, I, this set for Florges is probably just the best thing possible. Like, I, realistically, like, I, I, there's not much else I could do with Florges in this matchup, so, um, just kind of did what I had to do. Um, but there's that. Uh, and then last but not least, we are bringing Bronze Dong the Bronze Dong. This is probably one of the most important mons in this matchup. He does not have any form of hazard removal on his team. So we're going to lead with Bronze Dong, and we're going to set up stealth rocks immediately immediately because a lot of the potential things that are really threatening the omastar the uh hunt tail the or yeah the omastar and the hunt tail they are more than likely going to be sashed to prevent to allow them to get up a free shell smash and then become the threat that um they really can be um, this way, um, we can, uh, break those sashes ASAP so that the rest of our team that outspeeds can just keep clicking their moves and not have to worry so much about, um, being beaten down by something, uh, of the, something that's like, something that just lives a hit because it's sashed and then sets up and kills us all, you know? So... That's why we have the Stealth Rocks there. We also have Toxic Protect, because we can literally just Toxic a lot of things and just protect spam against them, which is always fun to do. And then we have a Zen Headbutt, so that we aren't walled by Tox Packs, like we can just click Zen Headbutt against and get some decent damage off. The Defensive Investment literally has no purpose. I literally just put mixed defenses in there, because this thing just is like hard. Like can, it can decently wall a lot of mons on this team uh, very, very effectively. So um, that is our Bronze on set, so... Holla holla. And then, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to do my best to live comment this matchup. So uh, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you have not already. But until next time, I'm Pokey Primer, signing off. Peace.